Welcome to the light space. Let's talk about happiness. Are you happy or do you merely think you are? True happiness can be hard to find in today's world, especially if you're not quite sure what it is that makes you happy. I used to think the euphoria I got from other people's approval, drinking and escaping my job over the weekend were my sources of happiness, but this couldn't be further from the truth. I enjoyed these activities because it provided a temporary feeling of freedom and achievement. But what if you could sustain those feelings almost all the time, without resorting to unhealthy habits? Imagine, you are free from the vices that bring you down and the only approval you seek is from yourself. I've learned that true consistent happiness is achieved through balance, long-lasting fulfillment and satisfaction in all areas of your life, work, health, relationships, mind and spirituality. I've been through various phases in my life when I thought I had finally found true happiness, and I almost had, but I was still neglecting parts of my life by placing too much emphasis on others. I went through a very spiritual phase in my life, filled with countless hours of meditation, lucid dreaming and other various spiritual practices, but forgot to take care of the physical side of things, leaving myself hungry some days. I had phases when I was earning great money, but still became depressed from not truly understanding myself or what I wanted. From my experience, the fastest route to happiness is through self-love, for countless reasons. Understanding the true power of compassion was one of the biggest turning points along my journey. When I suspended judgement and started showing tolerance and patience towards others, I began to show the same respect towards myself. My views and ideas about who I am radically started to change. Once you love and accept yourself, you can understand what it is you really want. Before I understood the importance of self-love, my thoughts and directions were clouded, misguided. I did things for approval and to serve my ego, rather than doing what was right for me. This applied to most areas of my life, girlfriends, the crowd I spent time with, my career choices and so on. But here is the greatest gift of all that self-love provides. You will begin to understand who you really are and what you want while simultaneously honing the courage to go after it. You become the greatest friend imaginable to yourself, free from concern of what friends, family or society might say. You stop following the crowd and think for yourself, questioning everything and learning who you truly are to the core. Absolute personal freedom and the birth of self-mastery. This will also help to develop great control over your thoughts, feelings and actions, to become the master of your mind and emotions. Having the body, mind and spirit working in unison. Where do you want to go? Who do you want to be? It's all down to you. Choices and responsibilities used to scare me. Now I see that they are the greatest privileges in life because you can choose whatever you want. Self-love is a shortcut to a greater life, as you are no longer guessing what you want. No more false identifying with the ego, remaining in touch with your true self. Take a moment to question some of the things in your life. Are they there because they bring you true satisfaction, or are they there just because you're afraid to ask for what you're dreaming of? Happiness is also a discipline, a state of mind that takes practice. Developing a positive mind filled with peace, balance and equilibrium is something that takes patience. Whenever you have a negative thought, simply let it pass and peacefully choose a positive one. You cannot force your mind to be peaceful through coercion. It has to be done gently with patience. Over time it will become second nature. Practice compassion for everyone. If someone does something to irritate you, stop and place yourself in their shoes for a moment. You might even learn to love the ones you used to hate. Remember that judgement serves no purpose. Even if you were to come across someone who has done the worst things imaginable, judging them achieves nothing. It merely adds more suffering to the equation. The only choices are to take action or leave it be. Hateful thoughts and negative talk will only harm yourself. The more unconditional love you show others, the more you will show for yourself. It is a blissful feeling to choose love over hate, even when it is most challenging. It takes guts and power to be compassionate. It doesn't make you a pushover, quite the opposite. Allowing someone to get the better of you is easy. Think of someone that you dislike for a moment and try to see things through their eyes. Imagine what could have led them to be the way they are today and you might start to understand them a little better. It isn't about who's right or wrong in this world. It's about transcending this competitive mindset and seeking what's best for all. Here's the secret. The world is a reflection of you. When you change, the world changes with you. Imagine how life will be when you are filled with unconditional love for all. It is paradise. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching guys.